Good day and welcome back to the Family Cyber Clinic. Two weeks ago, we released a video, Guided Access, which is a feature on the Apple ecosystem, a feature that the channel embraced as a must-have for parents who intend to share or give their tablets, the iPad or their smartphones, the iPhone to their kids. Now, with all the inappropriate material that um, exists on tablets, internet-enabled tablets, I should add, it is proper and prudent for us to narrow down or lock down the device that we're giving to our young ones, okay? That way, they only use the app we say they should use. The app we chose that day was um, YouTube Kids, which means that if you launch YouTube Kids and enable, at the time, guided access, that's all the child gets to do or play with, okay? And I threw a challenge and I said that I only use the iPhone and that if I get enough comments or a question about um, what happens on the Android platform, um, that I will research and release a video. You're very welcome. So this video is the Android equivalent of guided access. And the feature, nice that it's a feature rather than a, a third party app, but it's a feature. The feature on the Android platform is called screen pinning. Yeah, I know. I'm just getting to know these things. But again, I use just the iPhone. So screen pinning is the equivalent of guided access on the Apple ecosystem. So I'm going to show you how to um, enable it and use it the same way, possibly not the same way, but similar to how you would do um, this whole thing on the Android platform, okay? So it's similar to what you would do on Apple, okay? Now, unfortunately, with the Apple ecosystem, this is much easier, but I'm doing it the hard way where I'm just showing you the front, you know, the front of the phone so that you can see the settings that I'm choosing. And then I'll, I'll try and make it as pleasant as possible. I still love Android, okay? <laughs> I'm not a, a hater. Okay, so I'm going to go to the overhead camera so that you can see what I'm doing on the Android phone. I'm using a Huawei phone, um, which has obviously the, the Android or Google um, operating system, okay? Stop talking, Lawrence, just go to it. So I'm going to the as you can see um you can see the phone there so i'm just gonna log in okay let's see if i can let me hide my <laughs> not that you see but at least you can see me pressing so that's a prudent thing to do so that others don't get to see your details okay all right so that's the home page and the settings you can just see what i'm doing i hope you can see at some point, I will have to zoom in. So there's settings. And once you click on the settings, you go to, because it's a long list, you just go to security and privacy. Maybe I should just zoom in now. Okay. You should see it. Yeah. So security and privacy. So I go there and then right at the end, okay, you have more settings. So you click on more settings. And then... Um, down there, you can see screen pinning right at the bottom there, the last one, okay? That there, screen pinning. So you just need to turn it on. It's off at the moment, so you turn it on, okay? And you have this, and it, it, it gives you some information. It says screen pinning locks the screen in a single view, which means if you um, want the child to only use an app, that's all they get to see until you, you try to come out. And it says to pin a screen, Enable screen pinning, which we're going to do. Go to the screen you want to pin. Touch the recent key in the navigation bar and touch the pin icon. I'll show you all that so that you can see it. But ultimately, when you've got the app that you want to use, you have to do what they've just said there, where you, I think it says recent key. We'll do all that. Um, I used to be on the Android platform, so it's not that 
foreign to me. So I'm going to enable screen pinning. So you enable it. And of course, you can see that it's changed to, let me see if you can see it. Yeah, it's changed to blue. But then it also says required lock screen password. This is vital. Vital because if you don't do that, then anyone can unpin um, the app and then start using um, any other thing they want to use on the on the phone, which is which goes against what we want. We want, okay. So it's it's in, in, in important that we uh, lock the screen. So you enable that too. So you've enabled those two things, and this is exactly the same way you lock down on guided access. So this we're doing on the Android platform. You require lock screen password to unpin, basically to remove this um, uh, restriction. Um, and of course, make sure that you set uh, a strong and complex passcode or password, okay? So now that we've enabled it, we simply go back to the screen, or rather to the home screen. And now I want to use um, YouTube Kids, the same way I would have done on the Apple platform. And you can see that I've downloaded it. It's just there. So I'll click on YouTube Kids, okay? And I'm sure I can turn it this way, yeah? So you can see it's showing um, there as an app that I can use. But to pin this particular app, I have to do what they mentioned. Remember I said it said that we should do, um, we should go to the recent app and then pin it. So at the moment, this app is not pinned. I just opened it. But to make sure that this is the only app that plays in sing singular view or um, in an isolated view, basically, only thing that plays, I've got to go to the recent apps and then pin it. So to go to the recent app, I, I, I have to click on, let's see. I don't think you will see it. I, well, I hope you do. But... On, on the Apple platform to go to to go to um, recent uh, apps, basically apps that are open, is really not clear here. And I don't know where, where else to go, but it's there. Some I don't know whether you can see it. Can you see it? Just going to see if you can see it. This is the crazy thing about. OK, so they're just there. There is the recent. Okay, now it's clearer. Can you see that um, uh, square box? You just do that square box. If I click on that, it will now show me the apps that I can pin. Okay, so I'm going to turn it again. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. So now that I've um, gotten it, no, I can still do it this way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can you see the pin? This is the pin. Let me go to another app. You see that pin there? That is a pin. So to pin it, I've got to click on that pin, which I'm going to do now. So it says screen pinned. This keeps the screen in view until you unpin it. It says touch and hold back to unpin. If I touch and hold back to unpin, it will ask me for a passcode. Okay, so I'm doing okay. And now the only thing that will play on this phone will be um, uh, YouTube Kids. Nothing else will play. All right. I've just opened an app. Oh, sorry. A, a game. It should be a game. The moment is not launched yet, but it is opening, I think. Uh, I don't know why it's not opening yet. Let me choose another game. But basically, this is the only thing that's going to play on this. Be nice if it plays. It looks like it's not happy. <laughs> uh, could it be Wi-Fi? I don't know. But anyway, you can see that the only thing I'm able to do, I can't go back. If I press, it's not allowing me. It says this keeps this screen in view until you unpin. There's nothing else that I can play on this. So if you want, um, and I really don't want to waste your time. If you want to uh, use um, your smartphone or, uh, or tablet, I don't know where this works on the Android tablet. All I did was show you on an Android smartphone. So if you want to restrict your child's access to only the application you want, um, you know, um, her 
him or her to um, play on, you enable what's called screen pinning. Basically, you go through the steps that I just ran through. Um, like I said, it's cumbersome on, uh, you know, demonstrating this on the Android platform anyway for me. I think maybe if it's easier, you may, you may well uh, put it in the comments and tell me how I could have done that uh, easier. But I know that on the Apple platform, uh, this is much easier to demonstrate, okay? I hope this has been of help to you, especially the um, user who engaged me. There was one particular person who engaged me. You know yourself, okay? I hope this has helped. Um, now you can also enable this on your friends. I think you said family, friends, um, Android smartphone, okay? Um, so you can square that off. And I hope you remain happy. I've been your host, Lawrence Edem. Until next week, God bless and goodbye.